Welcome everyone. The first way is with Terminus. So let's open up Terminus. This is available for free from the App Store. And from here, you will need to create an account, but this is completely free. And if you tap on the Apple logo, you can just use your Apple ID as an account and that just saves a lot of time. Set data encryption. We're going to set a passphrase here. And it seems like it's not going to let me use the ones. So go like this. Okay, one second. There we go. 10 years later, we are in. So you do need to remember the passphrase, but I'm not going to. So we're going to tap on skip and here we go new host you also have import host so if you already have an ssh configuration file just tap on import but in my case i'm going to tap on new host and so you have the host name so this is going to be your ip so like put the ip here for your server okay this is just a random one then we have the port, leave this at 22, unless you know for sure the port should be different. Then you have the username, most likely your username is a root. And then your password is going to be your server password. So we'll just enter this one in. You have other stuff here, like SSH key, and you know, startup snippet. None of this stuff you really need to change. So that looks good. We're going to select save. And you just tap on your host to connect. Now my connection is fading because these are generic details. But if you entered everything correctly, you should be connecting no problem. With SSH, you will have to learn the commands like CD and LS and stuff like that in order for you to you know, browse your VPS and do commands, but I'm expecting you already know those. If you don't, you just need to Google basic SSH commands to get started. Now, if you want a remote desktop experience, so let's say your virtual private server, you have the full graphic interface, and you want to be able to access that. Then we have Microsoft's remote desktop client. And we also have VNC Viewer. So you will need to know whether or not you're using v, uh, VNC or the remote desktop. If we're using VNC and we open it up, just tap on get started and then tap on the plus. And you will need to enter in your IP address and port. So enter in the IP and then the port. The default port for VNC is 5900. But if you have a specialized port or your port in your case is different, then set it. Maybe it's 80, 443, 22 maybe, I don't know and then set the name of the computer here as well. So I'll just enter in some details for the sake of it and save. And then you just tap on connect and you'll have a full graphic user face. The same steps apply for the remote desktop client. Tap on the plus, you add a computer, and then you enter in the IP, you may need to enter in your username or password for the computer and then you disconnect. I've done, I've gone, you know, on the surface level, but if you do need to set up VNC, you will need to research the process there. If you need to set up SSH, you will need to research for that. And same with the remote desktop client. Just keep that one in mind, okay? And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.